I'm exhausted. I just bought a $36,000 van, nearly 40 hours from where I live. And now I have to drive it across the entire country alone. Saying goodbye to the mountains. I am about six and a half hours into my drive. I think I'm gonna go for another hour and a half. Um, and then see how I'm doing, maybe an hour like 20. <sighs> I'm a bit tired, but I'm eating some leftover green curry. I uh, just had a park bench. It is morning of day three of driving, I'm getting gas. And I just got Tim Hortons. I got a tea and a bagel. And I'm gonna try to do above a nine hour day today. It is 7.03. And I've already been driving for an hour. So, we're already looking really good. are going crazy right now i have made it to manitoba incidentally i have passed every single provincial sign without even noticing it i've passed into the different provinces without even noticing i was like oh where am i i'm already in manitoba damn didn't know this camera is making me feel very self-conscious about my skin right now Wow, splotchy. I may or may not have just washed my armpits in a rest area bathroom. This, there's a house fly in here and it's been in here for eh, like 20 hours. I'm gonna kill, oh, I'm gonna lose it. I'm in Manitoba. I have just under five hours to get to the border of Ontario. Woo! Home stretch. Not really. The drive doesn't even start until you get into Ontario. If you know, you know. Ontario is deceivingly long. It is 11.30 now and I am just doing my skincare exceptional you know when you're driving for a long time and you just feel disgusting I was gonna film this vlog on my camera but it is lost in the mess that is the back of my car right now this stuff is so shiny I gotta get this fly out of here Oh I'm gonna get it out before I start driving again. Got it, got it, got it, got it! Yeah. Next stop, I need like an iced coffee within the next hour and a half. I got my iced coffee. Just iced coffee with oat milk, no sweetener. I'm pretty tired. It is now, I don't know what clock is right. It is now 3.08 p.m. Um, I guess I passed a couple time zones. So I am three hours away from Ontario. I'm at the time in my drive where I become a little bit brain dead. 
All I know is the road. If I'm not driving, I don't know what to do with myself. There's another fly in here and I can't get it out. It's pissing me off. <sighs> I'm getting gas again. It looks cold out there. Oh God. I just finished 13 hours of drive. I'm freaking exhausted. Um, not as tired as you would think, but I'm happy to be at a spot where I can stay for the night. Um, I'm gonna watch a movie, eat some dinner, go to bed. Um, my brain is a little bit fried right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go. Good night. <sighs> I am getting ready for bed. I'm tired. Oh. my bed. <sighs> okay, the sun is rising. It's time to get on the road. I can't even check out my pajamas yet. I have some Tylenol cold and sinus because I am not feeling the hottest. Uh. I'm getting gas again. And I got another large coffee. I'm tired and I thought I was closer than I actually am. Last night I made it into Ontario. Today, I am driving through Ontario. Really, the drive doesn't start until you get into this province because this morning I was closer to Alberta and BC than I was to my home. So, I started with 18 hours to go. Now I think I'm near 11. It's, I don't even know what time it is. I think it's like 3 p.m. Uh, I've been through too many time zones to even know, but I'm going to get home tomorrow, which I'm excited about, but I know I have so much ahead of me. Um, so still lots of driving to do, but definitely on the second half of it now, but I'm feeling the fatigue. I'm definitely really exhausted and burnt out and I'd love to shower. I could go swimming, but like, I just want to put as many kilometers behind me as I can today. I'm exhausted, to say the least. Wish me luck the rest of the day. I'm at this lookout right now and it's gorgeous. When the 32 hour drive actually ends up being 32 hours. What? It's looking over. Oh, I actually want to be done so bad. I'm from 10 hours. Oh, uh, it's, I'm, <laughs> uh, I'm not doing well. I am not doing well. I want to be there. I want to be there yesterday. I'm gonna drive an hour in like 20 more minutes today. An hour and 20 more minutes.
today. Oh my god, driving actually makes you brain dead. Um, yeah. I just finished driving. Uh, day four. I started driving at 7 a.m. this morning. It is now 7 p.m. Feeling brain dead again. On the water though. I'm gonna go in the water right now. It's too pretty to not. Definitely helped my anxiety, but I'm shaking. That was pretty cool. I know I'm making such good time with my trip, but I really feel like it's kicking my ass. I really underestimated how big this trip really is, even though this is my sixth time doing it. I just pulled into my parents' driveway. Today was a really, really long day. I don't even know what I need to do to like take care of myself right now. Like I don't know what I need first. I need to like, I know I've been sitting all day, but like I need to sit down. I need to eat, I need to pee, I need to shower. Like, I don't know what I need. What is the order of operations here? Um, okay, I'm gonna go get some stuff done quick before I completely hit a wall. Although that drive kicked my ass. I was so happy the whole time to have my new van with me. And although I don't have my other van, I have come to, come to terms with that and I am so happy that I have my new van in my life and it being empty just has so much potential for what it's going to become and driving it home, I was just thinking about all the potentials that it could turn into and I'm just so excited for this new adventure and this long drive alone was just the first step to the conversion process and i can't wait to build it into my new home so if you guys are excited for the van build follow me on instagram and tiktok because i will be posting a lot of content on there daily about the van build but i will be posting uh longer long form content on YouTube also as well about the van conversion and I'm so excited guys I did it I am at my parents apartment I am showered I ate something I've had a couple hours to relax after the drive and kind of get my head back to a thinking order but that drive was a lot longer than I remember. That was my sixth time doing the drive. Um, I know I'm definitely going to be doing it again. But, yep, that was me driving across the country. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.